Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I review the latest Linux distros and software. Today, I'm going to take a look at Ubuntu Budgy 23.10, codenamed Mantic Minotaur, which was released on October 12th, 2023. This is a standard release support for 9 months, packed full of new features and improvements. If you want a longer term support, you can stick with 23.4 LTS version, which is supported for 3 years. Ubuntu Budgie is an official Ubuntu flavor that features the Budgie desktop environment, which is a modern and elegant desktop environment that combines the best of GNOME and Solis. Ubuntu Budgie aims to provide a simple and elegant user experience with minimal bloat and distractions. So, Let's dive into the new features of Ubuntu Budgie 23.10 and see what it has to offer. The first thing you will notice is the new theme and look of Ubuntu Budgie. The default theme has been refined. The dark elements such as Budgie menu panel and Raven's background has been enhanced for better visibility and aesthetics. The default icon theme is still Pokilu which is the fork of Paperius with some tweaks. The second thing you will notice in this new Budgie desktop version, which is 10.8, this version brings many improvements and new features to the Budgie desktop, such as an improved Budgie menu, which offers a user-friendly alternative to the panel. You can search for applications, access favorites, switch categories, and customize the menu appearance and behavior. A new system tray applet that supports status notifier, which is a standard for applications to communicate with their tray icons informations over DBus. This allows for consistent and visually appealing user experience for tray icons. A new power management feature that allows you to control the performance and power profile modes of your system, such as balanced power saver performance and so on, were supported. You can access these features from the battery indicator in the status applet. A new workspace indicator in the top left corner of the screen, which shows you which workspace you are in, and allows you to switch between them with a mouse click or keyboard shortcut. A new tiling assistant extension that helps you arrange your windows in a tile layout with ease, you can enable or disable these extensions from the Budgie desktop settings. Another major improvement in Ubuntu Budgie 23.10 is the support of Magpy, which is a critical step towards Wayland support. Magpy AB is essentially a soft work of GNOME's Matter Window Manager, which ensures smoother transitions addressing issues related to Wayland and X11. This version, Magpie 0.9.x, maintains stability, catering to multiple GNOME stack releases until the full-fledged Magpie 1 Wayland Compositor is ready. Ubuntu Budgie 23.10 also comes with the Linux kernel 6.5, which is the latest stable release as per the release schedule. This kernel update brings a host of improvements, making your Linux experience smoother and more efficient. Some standout features of kernel 6.5 include Wi-Fi 7 support, MIDI 2.0 compatibility, and numerous other enhancements. In addition to these features, Ubuntu Baji 23.10 also comes with a new firmware updater for users who are running Ubuntu or real machines. This allows you to update your system firmware from within Ubuntu without having to reboot into BIOS or use external tools. Ubuntu Budgie 23.10 also includes some updated applications and core packages from Ubuntu. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Linux content. If you want to try Ubuntu Budgie 23.10 yourself, you can download it from their official website. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.